Autumn days when the grass is jeweled and the silk inside a chestnut shell. Jet planes meeting in the air to be refueled. All the things I love so well, so I mustn't forget. No, I mustn't forget to say a great big thank you I mustn't forget clouds that look like familiar faces and a winter's moon with frosted rings smell of bacon as I fasten up my laces and the song the milkman sings so I mustn't forget no I mustn't forget to say a great big thank you I mustn't forget Whipped up spray that is rainbow scattered And a swallow curving in the sky Shoes so comfy though they're worn out and they're battered And the taste of apple pie So I mustn't forget mustn't forget to say a great big thank you I mustn't forget scent of gardens when the rain's been falling and a minnow darting down a stream picked up engine that's been stuttering and stalling and a wind my home team so I mustn't forget no I mustn't forget to say a great big thank you I mustn't forget good morning from the cuddy of the swamp duck it's Sunday the 11th of October 2020 it's quite early, it's just coming up for 7 o'clock and it's not quite light yet. Um, I'm currently moored up between bridges 2 and 3 where I've been overnight. I came down yesterday, it took me about 5 hours to get here from the home mooring. That was really 4 hours travelling time and I stopped off for lunch and um, went to get some petrol at around about bridge 15 there's a petrol station not too far from there which I've used a couple of times now it's quite quite a handy petrol station I wanted to, to film on the way down um, but the weather yesterday wasn't very good it was quite wet and blustery so I decided that I would film on the way back today because the forecast is much better and I really want to capture some of the uh, beautiful autumnal colours as the leaves are beginning to turn and fall. So I'm going to be filming from here up to bridge 15 and that will complete my filming of the southern end of the Ashby Canal. So after a cup of tea and some uh, domestic chores I hope to be setting off as soon as it becomes light so come and join me our journey today starts just after Marston Junction on the Ashby Canal between bridges 2 and 3 we're going to be traveling in a northeasterly direction for just over 5 miles to bridge 15 where there is a water point and some visitor moorings. There's also a petrol station nearby so I can refuel if I need to. I'm so glad that I decided to wait to film today as this is the first shot that greeted me when I opened the rear flap of the canopy this morning. You can see from the flag that there's hardly any wind at all. I 
and a glorious sunrise. It was well worth making the effort to get up early this morning to get these beautiful colours. It's uh, such a beautiful morning, there's quite a few boats that have uh, already passed me really early. My only problem today is I'm going towards the sun a little bit, so definitely need the shades. seem to have gained quite a bit of fishing line, a couple of floats and a hook yesterday. Fortunately it wasn't wrapped around the propeller, just the, the rudder. So that took a few minutes of uh, cutting that off.
hate to see so many cabin cruisers on the side of the canal in real desperate state because though they've not been attended to for many many years. Such a shame. These are um, official uh, moorings, visitor moorings, by Bridge 5. We've got some uh, mooring rings, that's quite nice, except um, it did say in the uh, guidebook that uh, it can be quite noisy with traffic on this uh, road.
difficulties of doing this and trying to film at the same time is having eyes in the back of your head. And because I'm not on the towpath side, there's lots of overhanging trees and uh, bushes that I need to negotiate. And I just missed one. <laughs> The Ashby Canal is quite shallow and it is advisable to try and stay in the middle as much as you possibly can. I've done the first two miles of the Ashby Canal out of the 28, so 26 to go right to the other end. helpful mile markers all along this canal. And the Ashby Canal Group have recently been spending time painting them up again and they look really smart. Now we're just coming up to bridge six. It's quite a away between five and six. It's a beautiful stretch. So we're just coming up to bridge number six. The reason I say that is because apart from being helpful, it does uh, enable me to uh, make light work of the editing of hours and hours of footage, which I need to get down to about half an hour. So it just gives me a, a reference point. We just go in under bridge number eight. Just coming up to bridge number nine.
we're just coming up to the last wooded uh, section of uh, this part of the Ashby Canal before we come out into open countryside just before Bridge 15. 